Yeah? All right, let's do it. I've asked you to uh, have a look at some number lines and some inequalities. So at the top one, you don't have to do any manipulation. You just have to identify, all right, well, do we know where this is and which direction to draw our line in, as well as what to do at that boundary point. So what do you think? Have we got the most important point on the number line there? Yes. We do? Cool, I see the zero. You've got the boundary value there, positive five, so that looks great. Does the line go in the right direction? Yeah. Greater than, so it's going that way, which conveniently is the direction the inequality sign is heading in. And we've got a filled circle there. Is that the one we're after? Yeah. Cool. Looks good to me. Okay. When you have a look at this, this is what you had a look at yesterday. The strategies that you can use with inequalities are very, very similar to the strategy you can use with equations. And that's why you can be asked to do the same thing with them. You're asked to solve equations just like you're asked to solve inequalities. So you can see the steps one by one. Can you help me work out what's the very first thing that Daniel did? She added one to both sides. Okay. Then from this line to this line, she has divided by two. Divided by two. Okay. Now, we'll come to this line in a minute, which, um, which Jake added. x is less than negative 3 on 2. Do you agree with that? Yep. Are we in agreement? Fantastic. Now, I did say, uh, I did mention that you can always use all the same strategies for solving inequalities as you have for solving equations. With one exception that you know about from yesterday. Do you remember what it was? OK, if you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number, like for instance, see how from this line to this line, we divided by 2. If we had to divide by, say, negative 2, which is quite a common thing to do, what happens to the inequality? Yeah, it changes direction, okay? So had it been this, if it was a negative at that point, right, when you divide through by that negative 2, that's an x there, this will become 3 over 2, but the inequality would change direction. Okay. Now something that wasn't mentioned yesterday, and to be honest, you won't really have to deal with it until next year probably, but it's worth mentioning in the same moment is, there's one other example of a thing you can do to both sides that requires you to change the inequality. So for example, if I gave you this, if I gave you this equation, right, and I asked you, can you solve for x, what would you do? If you write both sides as fractions, because the left-hand side is already a fraction, you might notice, well, if I want x, it's just the reciprocal of this left-hand side. So a common sense thing to do would be, well, let's turn it upside down, which means you better turn this upside down as well. So you would write this, which is exactly correct. You're doing the same operation to both sides. Both sides are equal. So all good, hunky-dory. But, but. If I said this, when you take the reciprocal of the left-hand side, like this, and the reciprocal of the right-hand side, like this, the inequality isn't going to be going in the same direction. Can you see why, Jacob? Oh, oh, no. oh you're going to say you're going to say that. Yeah. Let me give you a quick example to prove this for you. Right? Let's think of some numbers. Give me a number that's bigger than another number. Give me two numbers. 6 is bigger than? 8. <laughs> Someone doesn't want to go to market day. Okay, 6 is uh, bigger than 2, right? Now, again, if I do the reciprocals of both sides, is a 6th a sixth bigger, or I should have picked a different number, is a 6th bigger or smaller than a half? And it's clearly smaller, right? So, multiplying, dividing by negatives, you switch the direction. Taking the reciprocal of both sides, you also switch direction. Lastly, are you happy with that number line? Yeah? Uh, I do think it's actually kind of nice to put it in this decimal form or as a mixed numeral because then it helps you work out where it is in relation to other things on the number line. That's a lot easier to work out where it is than that. But it's fine. You could have labeled that as minus 3 on 2, Ooh, which is a dangerous thing because that should be minus. Right? Watch out for that. It is on the correct side. And we do have the hollow circle, which is correct. I think what I would like a little more than that is to have that arrow on the number line. I think that's a better way to go. Okay, so if you didn't do yours on the number line, then please change that. Okay.